Hey what's up guys, it's time to do a new tutorial today. And today we're going to make text so it looks like stone. Uh, we're going to add bump maps and other textures so uh, we can make the text look like it was made of stone. But uh, let's stop talking and jump into the tutorial. The first thing we do here is to go up to composition and make a new composition. Like so. And then are we going to um, add a layer, we're going to add a um, solid. The color is not important, uh, we're going, you don't going to use it, uh, but we can call it uh, bump, like so. And then are we going to add um, a texture? We're going to add um, fractal noise, fractal noise. Um, it's going to add this fractal noise, and we can double tap on it. Yes, see it, so the layer is selected. Let's see here, we're going to um, not 100, we're going to add the contrast, the contrast, we're going to bump it up to around 400, like so, and the brightness is going to be down around 75, then we're going to transfer, we get the scale, we're going to bring it down to around yeah, 19, it can be fine, let's see, so, then can we disable this layer, as we're only going to use it as a um, bump map later on. Then can we um, press this icon here, so, so we can see the transparency. As we're going to add um, a text here that is black, so we can see it. Characters, and we're going to use this um, font here, but you can choose any font you like. So we go to the text tool and type stone. Then can we align this, let's see here, align, align so. Then are we going to add some effects here, we're going to add a layer style. The first we're going to add is bevel and bows, and we open up bevel and bows, and we can change the size to 10, and then are we going to change this to uh, chisel hard? So we get a more hard edge here. Then are we going to go down and we can increase the opacity to 100 on both. And we can set the um, black to a more grayish, like so. I think that's fine. Like so. Then are we going to add another layer style. We're going to add a drop shadow. And then we can open the drop shadow. And we are going to uh, say this, the distance. We're going to drag it out like so. Around there. And the spread to about 20. And the size like so. I think that looks good. So we can close that. Now are we going to add some effects here. So see to the layer is selected. And we're going to add some um, fractal noise here too. And we have that selected there. So we're going to add some fractal noise. And here are we going to in um, set the opacity to around 55 is good, like so. Then are we going to add um, CC glass. And we can just double tap on it. Um, then are we going to go to surface. And here we're going to use um, the bump map. And we're also going to set it to use effect and mask. And we're going to set the softness to zero. And we can Bump this up a little bit and we can lower this to around 13, I think. I think that's maybe a little bit. That ah, looks fine there. So, and then we're going to the shading. We can set this up a little bit. We can set this up to all the way to 100, like so. And then are we going to add a tint? So we're going to set tint and double tap to add it. And we are going to set the grayscale here. 
I think there's fine, maybe a little bit too light, but there's good enough, so, um, and here can we see, if we zoom in here, we can, um, we can maybe see it over here, you can see that there is uh, some scattering, the CC glass effect, um, make the um, text get a little bit scattered, but you can fix this. So we're going to add, uh, as you say here, set matte mate. so, and we can just double tap on it, and then we can see here, we're going to use uh, the text layer, but as you see, so is there still um, some here in the shadows? This is because it um, uses, it don't remove where there are some shadows. But there's a way to come around this. If you set this to a 3D layer, so does it not um, include the shadows? As we use in the alpha channel, so everything there is uh, some graphic. So um, does it um, use this as um, a mate? It doesn't um, remove things there. But uh, now does it not um, include the shadows when you have it as a 3D layer? So that is a workaround. So I think there's, we can take it back down and zoom out again. So I think that's good enough for the text. Now can we add a background? Um, you can take any background you like, but I'm going to use this one over here. And I can add um, a link to this background if you like to use it. Then we have to uh, transform this, we can get fit the comp with, like so. Then we're going to add some um, effects here. We need to have a um, curves layer. And double tap to edit, but see to the layer is selected, like so. And we can lower this to get it a little bit darker, like so. Then are we going to add another effect? We're going to add a um, vignette. Like so. And we can increase this to around so. Maybe crank this up to around, I think around 70. Like so. I think that looks quite good there. We only need to change the color a bit. We're going to add a hue and saturation. And we can colorize it. And then we change the color to a little bit more brown, like so. I think that looks quite good. And in this way, you can make text look like stone. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you uh, use this in some of your products, it would be fun to see. So uh, leave a link below so everybody can see. And if you like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. But for now guys, I'm going to leave you with my little animation of this tutorial. So I'm just going to say, or not.